Good morning. I wanted to take this time today to talk to you all a bit about um, gratitude. So gratitude comes from a place where you know you're thinking about what you're grateful for and you're also very mindful and appreciative of things and it's your ability to, to show and return kindness. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. For me, true gratitude really comes from like knowing knowing your pain points in life and knowing like the stuff, the shit that you've been through because the opposite of that to me is gratitude and appreciation. So I wanna take you on a, a bit of a journey of, um, of where I've learned my gratitude from. So um, growing up, I was, I was depressed so that means today I really appreciate and I'm so thankful for my happiness. Um, growing up, I was, um, I was a chubby kid with low self-esteem. So today I value my health and my confidence and high self-esteem. Um, going through um, school is always can be um, a challenging time. And for me, it was also like a time when um, friendships and social things were uh, are really important to you. And during a lot of that time, I had social anxiety. For the, so for those of you that don't know what social anxiety is, it's putting yourself into a, a social situation and you're just so nervous and so uncomfortable about not knowing what to say or how to act. Um, and it just becomes debilitating to the point where sometimes you won't leave the house or if you do go out, you'll just wear masks. Um, to try and hide how you're really feeling. So I spent the best part of 30 years having that. So now I, I value my authenticity and my confidence and my ability to be in social situations and to feel comfortable and to help others feel comfortable. Another challenge for me going through, um, through high school was just probably me not accepting myself. Um, you know, and it just come through a lot of it, just not knowing how to do it or just not not knowing what my good points were and what my bad points were and just accepting the whole package. So, um, so today I'm, great, I'm grateful and of, of accepting me for who I am, the good parts and the bad parts, accepting all of that. Um, the next part for me would be going through university. Um, and I guess the, the pain points there is just thinking, um, am I good enough? Am I good enough? And is this what I want to do? So for me today, I'm very grateful. I, I know what I want to do and it's this, it's the, it's, the coach, it's the performance coaching stuff. I love helping people live just awesome lives with no regrets. Um, and, I, and I'm so thankful today that I have direction in life. Like I know who I am and I know what I like and what I don't like. To me, people that have um, direction in life, they just know what they like and what they don't like, what they want and what they don't want. So. I'm very grateful today that I know all of that for myself and I'm teaching that one to others. Um, after, after university would be when I was at the gym um, and I had no idea how to run a business. Um, no clue at all. I didn't have the emotional intelligence on how to do it. So today I'm grateful um, that I've got coaches and people in my life who have taught this stuff to me. So I'm grateful today that I now know how to run a business. I now know how to emotionally regulate myself, to keep myself um, happy and motivated and on track. Uh, another part during um, during that phase would probably be like the anxieties, anxieties around life. So for those of you that haven't had anxiety, you probably know someone who has. When you have anxiety, it literally feels like, like you can't breathe. It just feels so tight. Um, your chest feels like it's just pounding so hard. You become um, jittery and nervous. Um, your mind just starts spiraling. Uh, and I suffered for that for quite a few years. So today, I'm grateful that I have inner peace. Like, it's just so easy to breathe. You know, I'm not struggling for breaths. I'm not thinking that I'm gonna die. I'm not, <clears throat> not worried that think everything's gonna go wrong. So yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for that inner peace. The next, the next part of my life would have been jail. So when I was in, when I was in jail, um, you obviously there's, there's many facets to it, but you lose your freedom. Like there's walls up everywhere and you can't get out. So you're stuck there. So today, look at this, I'm down Cronulla. Might be the middle of winter, but it's a nice sunny day. Um, and there's just no walls around. So I'm just so grateful for my freedom. You know, it's just the simple things. You don't realize how grateful and appreciative you are, you are for things like that until it's taken away from you. So yeah, I'm grateful for my freedom. Another part in jail was when you go in there, it's, it, 
it's a scary place. Like you know, it's it's not an enjoyable place, and there's a lot of um. Not that I'm I'm not judging anyone, but there's a lot of like bad people in there that have done some bad things. And when you're not from, you didn't grow up in that world, and you're not around that. Like it's just a scary place to be a fish out of water. It's not a good place to be in in general. So that means today I'm grateful to have nice, authentic, understanding people in my life. During that phase of my life, you know, I was I was bullied as well. So today. I'm grateful to have understanding, compassionate, empathetic, loving, supporting people in my life. Um, just before um, jail, like I didn't have a very um, close relationship with my dad, like for whatever reasons. Um, but during that whole jail process, you know, we, we really reconnected. So today I'm, I'm grateful to be like best mates with my dad. Um, I can't say enough good words about about my brother, but like when we were growing up, typical older brother, I used to bully him and I was an asshole to him. Um, and today, my brother Troy is probably the biggest legend that I know. Um, you know, love him more than words words can describe. Um, and I'm just so grateful to have like the best brother in the world. Um, just before leading into jail, I feel like I really, um, <clears throat> me and my mum were really close growing up, so leading into jail when I was on drugs and all that sort of stuff there's a lot of lying a lot of deceit and a lot of I was just a shit human being at that time and really just broke her trust and 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 a lot of other things um, and that that relationship's still on the men now but it was her birthday on the weekend and I feel like we gave her one of the best birthdays she's ever had both me and my brother our girlfriends all the families were there and it was just such a good time it was just so awesome to see my mum happy around her family and close friends um, yes yeah, so I'm so I'm, I'm grateful to have a mum who's alive who, who loves me, who's happy, who's healthy, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, yeah, another part would be, be Jen, like meeting the girl of my dreams. Like I feel like I've told some of my friends years ago, I go, if you ever see me with a little blonde um, Barbie doll girl, I said, you'll know at that point that I've made it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful for her for the reason of all of my past relationships didn't work out and the reasons they didn't work out, I've learned the lesson why and corrected them and then just created and manifested Jen into my life and she represents everything that I that I love in a partner looks wise personality wise relationship wise um, yeah so that's just going from strength to strength we still go through our challenges like any other relationship but I feel like we're in a we're in a really good place and we're working through working through things I'm just so happy and fulfilled and content being with Jen so yeah um, other things of that's like family and friends are massively important to me um, also like growing up I just felt like I didn't know things like I didn't everything if I didn't everything my answer for a lot of things was just like I don't know I don't know I don't know um, so now I'm I'm grateful that I've I've found that part of my mind whether it be in my brain or in using my gut instincts as I can figure things out so I'm grateful now that I can figure things out when I was in jail, I learned that there's there's an ego in the brain, and when you when you use the ego, so the ego in the brain is a great calculator. It's good for solving problems for numbers, measurements, and logical type problems, but it's not good for solving problems for people, life, and emotions. That's what your authentic self is for, your gut instinct. So, and I didn't know that. So, at this point in time, I'm very grateful that I now know that I have an authentic self and I have a gut instinct that can solve problems when it comes to people, emotions and life. So I'm grateful in this moment of time for that. Um, the other part is probably the, um, like these techniques that I've created that can release negative emotions and negative thoughts out of the body. So it's a combination of, of a lot of stuff that I've learned over the years from counsellors, psychologists, psychiatrists, life coaches, holistic doctors. <clears throat> Because before that, I didn't know how to get rid of a negative emotion or a negative thought out of my body. I was stuck with it. Um, so today, I'm, I'm grateful that it not only works for me, that it works for all these other people I'm helping with. And I just think it's such a massive key to life, just knowing how to get rid of negative thoughts and emotions out of the body and learning from them. Um, yeah, and connecting to your authentic self. So I'm grateful for that. <clears throat> when I was in jail, I had a lot of, um, I didn't have a lot, but I probably had four four main teachers that I could think of and of all places on earth it was the last place that you'd think you'd find some great teachers in there but that's where I found them and um, <clears throat> one of them taught me that well, he, he did seminars years ago and um, he, he ran them in prison and out as well and he said uh, a guy by the name of Lou Tice ran a program called Investments in Excellence and um, 
he, he showed me the newspaper articles and stuff that he'd done that and he hadn't shown people in like 20, 25 years that he'd done this stuff because I told him I wanted to do seminars and all that type of stuff when I got out and he showed that to me and he said, well, Scotty, if you want to do it, you've got to do it properly and this is how it was shown to me and I'm going to pass it on down the line from you. So I didn't previously know how to set set goals like values and goals and go in depth and how to do that in all areas of life because to me when you've got awesome goals in all areas of life not only are you going to have a life of no regrets you're going to live an awesome life you like you are literally going to be living the dream whatever your version is of that you're going to have access to that so i'm so grateful that this particular guy he taught me how to do that um yeah so setting all the areas of goals uh the goals in all areas of your life um the next part was probably coming out of out of jail. My biggest fear was probably, am I going to be accepted by the community or not, or am I going to be shunned because I'd been been to jail and all that type of stuff? And I just feel that through my um, authenticity, my honesty, my like my transformation, my willingness to help others, I know there's probably a lot of other things going into it as well. Um, yeah, I feel like I've been um, fully accepted back, so I'm very very grateful for all the people that I've met since then um, and how um, warm and open and understanding um, everyone everyone in the community's been. So I, that, I'm just so grateful and appreciative of that. Um, I just wanna keep on giving back. Um, there's probably a lot, of other, a lot of other things, but I just kind of wanted to introduce the, the topic with you guys today and just go over a few things of what gratitude is for me. As basically, it's a pain point, the opposite of the pain point, realizing what that is. Because if you, if you just get all good things straight off the bat in life, you're not going to know why they're good, like you're just not going to appreciate them. But when you've experienced the opposite, like the negative side of it, and then you get given the positive back, <clears throat> you really understand why you like it and why it makes you feel good and, and, how, to sort, and how to create more of it. So yeah, I hope, hope you guys find some, um, some values and maybe it resonates with a few people. And as I'm talking through it, you're probably relating to different areas of your life and going, yep, that was a shit time of life. So the opposite of that would be what I'm grateful for. And once you're grateful for, like how can I create more moments like this? Um, and just like how I've learned things from all the different people in my life. And there's so, there's so many more people that I could have talked about today, um, which I'll probably go into more in other times, but all the different things I've taught. And then just passing them on down the line. Like to me, it's one of the, um, you know, not, it's not a fear, but just like when you have a talent or a skill or <clears throat> a way to make this world happy and you keep it to yourself, like it's just almost a crime. So yeah, if you've got things that you know that you can teach, if you've got a talent or a, or a gift or something that you can pass on and give to this world to make people feel good, like start doing that. That's, that's what this place needs and that's what I'm all about. So yeah, share the love. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy your day.